imagine a powerful weapon that uses an electric beam to shoot down enemy planes from far away with a burst of electricity. Picture an invisible energy shield protecting a country or a high-tech electric fence drawing power from the sky, instantly destroying any intruders. Think of a device capable of generating 100 million volts and currents of 1000 amperes, releasing energy like a nuclear bomb and destroying targets instantly. This is the story of Nikola Tesla's invention known as the Death Ray, a weapon that pushed the limits of conventional warfare. Nikola Tesla was born in 1856 in what is now Croatia. After getting an engineering degree, he moved to the United States. He worked for Thomas Edison but later struck out on his own as an inventor. Tesla's ideas of a powerful energy beam that could shoot down planes and cause massive damage wasn't unique. It was part of a larger trend of proposed death rays that intrigued people in the 1920s and 1930s. After World War I, when there was a strong fear of another big war, the idea of such a powerful weapon seemed more appealing. People imagined it could potentially stop wars altogether. The media extensively covered these death ray concepts, grabbing people's attention. While the specifics of how such a device would function remained uncertain, inventors and scientists eagerly explored the potential of a newly discovered energy sources like X-rays and electricity to create the ultimate weapon. Various individuals pitched increasingly fantastical concepts, each more ambitious than the last. Reports periodically surfaced that major powers were actively developing these weapons. In this environment of speculation and new inventions, Nikola Tesla stood out by boldly claiming that he had actually created Death Ray, even though many other inventors and scientists were also making similar claims. Tesla's inventions were groundbreaking focusing on electric power generation, transmission and radio technology. Yet, his ultimate ambition was to achieve wireless transmission of limitless power through the air. Despite developing various devices toward this goal, his research progress was hindered by limited funding. At the height of the fascination with death rays, Tesla introduced his own invention, a device that could deliver lethal electricity from a distance. He called it Teleforce. To highlight that, it focused energy along a narrow path rather than using traditional rays. He claimed that this powerful invention could instantly incapacitate people and shoot down aircraft. He said, My apparatus projects particles which may be relatively large or of microscopic dimensions, enabling us to convey to a small area at a great distance trillions of times more energy than is possible with rays of any kind. Many thousands of horsepowers can be thus transmitted by a stream thinner than a hair so that nothing can resist. Tesla's envisioned device was not only capable of offensive capabilities like lethally deploying electricity from a distance, but he also proposed defensive applications. He suggested that it could create a sort of national energy fence, acting as a proactive shield. This hypothetical shield could potentially vaporize any enemy that passed through it, showcasing Tesla's vision for both offensive and defensive uses. In his own words, my invention requires a large plant, but once it is established, it will be possible to destroy anything, man or machines approaching within a radius of 200 miles. Even in his letter to JP Morgan, he talked about how flying machines had completely demoralized the world in a way that people are in mortal fear from aerial bombing. His new invention could provide absolute protection against this and other forms of attacks. But, 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 his aspirations were met with disappointment when he struggled to secure funding for his project. Despite approaching the governments of major world powers, he faced repeated rejection and a lack of interest in his revolutionary ideas. He indeed desired for his invention to be deployed around the coastlines of the United States, seeing it as a vital defense measure. However, when American authorities showed little interest, he turned to his next favored ally, the United Kingdom, hoping to garner support there. In 1930s, as Germany expanded aggressively under Nazi rule, Tesla recognized the growing threat. He believed that Britain could greatly benefit from deploying defensive teleforce or death ray stations along its coastlines. He envisioned these stations as a deterrent against potential invaders including Germany or any other adversaries. But his timing was poor. He visited London in the mid-1930s when Chamberlain was Prime Minister. Having experienced World War I, he wanted to prevent any similar conflict and was focused on peace. He even talked with Hitler. 
hoping a deal might ensure peace. During this period, Nikola Tesla arrived in London and met with Chamberlain and his science advisor Mr. Tizard to offer his teleforce or death ray technology to Britain. He demanded a substantial sum of money which Britain likely could not afford and Chamberlain was reluctant to invest in a war effort that he conceived would not materialize. How wrong he was. Even though Britain was interested in Tesla's directed energy weapon, they did not handle things honestly. While Tesla was either at a meeting or strolling in the park, they broke into his hotel room safe, took photos of his death ray plans and kept them secretly. This allowed Britain to build their own version of the weapon. After that, they sent Tesla away. He was deeply disappointed with both his home country, the US and its ally Britain, who he believed could greatly benefit from his teleforce technology to protect their borders. Neither showed any interest, which was his biggest letdown. In the end, the only country that paid him for the death ray was the Soviet Union. The Soviets paid Tesla $25,000 for some early details about the particle beam weapon. The deal for the death ray was kept secret, but Tesla suspected he was being watched. Shortly after, he was involved in a suspicious accident where he was hit by a taxi. Was it just a coincidence or was someone trying to kill him? He was being followed at the time. And since he had given his project to the Soviet Union, it's possible that some people saw his work as a threat and wanted to get rid of him. Tesla survived the accident, but in 1939, his fears came true when Nazi Germany invaded Poland, starting World War II. By 1943, with the war still raging, Tesla reached out to the US military general from his New York hotel, hoping to share the secret of his death rate to help end the conflict. He wanted to work with the US government and any other government willing to listen. However, Tesla never made it to the meeting. Just a few days later, on January 8, 1943, he was found dead in his Manhattan hotel room. He was living alone in two rooms at a hotel New Yorker when he died. His death was suspicious, especially since the hotel safe was broken into and his personal papers were stolen. People have long wondered if Tesla was killed to get his secret death ray plans. For years, there have been rumors and theories about his death. Some think he was murdered over his particle weapon invention. Others believe his papers were stolen by governments wanting to use them for their own purposes. A recent FBI files revealed that Tesla's nephew, Sava Kosanovich, led a group that raided Tesla's safe shortly after his death. He was a Yugoslav diplomat and not liked by Tesla. And the US government was also wary of him and unsure of his loyalties. He is also suspected of being a communist. But one can wonder, why would he steal the plans since the Soviets already had Tesla's death ray blueprints? Well, people assume that Kosanovich and his group might have stolen them to keep them away from the US. Other potential suspects include Nazi Germany, which was very interested in advanced weapons, and even the US itself. The US might have wanted to keep the plans away from the enemies or to secret develop their own death ray. Because after Kosanovich and his team left, the FBI and the Office of Alien Property seized Tesla's remaining documents. It's possible they took the plans to develop their own weapon. According to the official statement, they found nothing. But it is said that similar devices were experimented during Cold War, which hints that they might have used Tesla's technology. They might have, but no one can confirm if those devices were inspired by Tesla's technology. But what happened to the blueprints that Britain stole? With the blueprints for the death ray in the hand, it is said that the Britain sought out someone who had knowledge in the particle accelerators, electricity and the ionosphere. They found Robert Watson Watt, hired him and provided him with the budget and the blueprints to develop their own death ray. Components and machinery were sourced from the Navy, it was the only institution at the time who had access to high-powered equipment. The challenge was clear, if Watson could build a device capable of destroying a sheep from a couple of hundred yards away, the project would be deemed a success. Well. Watson Watt constructed the device, but it failed to achieve its intended effect. He explained that the device required an enormous amount of energy, likely in the millions of volts, whereas they could only generate thousands of volts. Given their current power supply, the death ray would never work as intended, leaving Watson Watt to wonder what Tesla had originally envisioned. Well, what Tesla had in mind was to keep his plans mostly secret. He did print 99% of the plan so someone could build the machine, but the crucial part about how to power it was only in his head. He planned to reveal that final detail only if he was hired for the project. Since Robert Watson Watt couldn't figure out how to power the device, the project was eventually shelved. So the creation of death rays is still a mystery. 
for the creation of EMG and the UK's discovery of radar around that time does give birth to some conspiracy theories. So this brings us to our original question. Did Tesla truly build the device or these are just all rumors or conspiracies since Tesla had great following and was a great inventor? Do tell us what you guys think about the death ray. Did Tesla really build it or was it just a drama to stay in the mainstream and acquire some funding? Do tell us your opinion and do like, share and subscribe to our channel to enable us to share more such videos.